the next segment in your PCD planning prep. Woohoo! With Emily! Today, wait, backing up. We are. <laughs> Let's start that over. <laughs> no, that was great. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Ellie and I are hiking from Canada to California, if you're just tuning into this video. Um, in the summer of 2014, we're hiking from Canada all the way down to Sayed Valley. I don't even know if that's how you actually say it, but California. Siad. Siad Valley. Yeah. And we are very excited. And I am going to tell you about bear bags today. So let's start by addressing the bear canister. This is our fancy, uh. lovely barricade. So if you have, if you don't know what this is, it's like, you know, not super odor proof, but essentially it's hard to break in to get your food in there if a bear smells your food in the middle of the night. Um, so you open it. There's a little, oh my gosh, it's Emily proof too. Bear and human proof. It's actually kind of difficult. You push in, you get it passed, and then it just opens easily like this. Um... Now, if you haven't checked out our food videos yet, please do, because we've got some really awesome food planned for the hike, and we're really excited about it. But before doing that, let's take a look at each day. So as we start fitting our food into the bear canister. One day. Two days. Uh-oh, it's looking rather full. Three days? Um... Hmm. So I could probably unbag these and maybe fit four days in here. That is not going to work when some of our stops in between resupplies are nine days and there's two of us. So that's 18 days worth of food. This is not going to work. Wah, wah. No. So we had to come up with a whole new system and learn how to bear bag. We thought, oh, a bear canister would just be so easy. We don't have to get into camp and hang a bear bag every night. Well, folks, now I'm going to be, by the end of this trip, a bear bag master. Connoisseur. Connoisseur. The sommelier of bear bagging. <laughs> okay. Which means what, folks? We had that as a trivia question last night at our pub. It was uh, asked wine. us what he won an award of, some sommelier, and I was like, well, it can't be as obvious as wine, because that would just be stupid. But yes, folks, that was the answer to the trivia question. It was. It was. Sommelier is good at wine. All right. So, I just back to biting the video our time. Hand. <laughs> <laughs> From the bear canister, we move to having each of us needing an item, and we're actually going to be using a stuff sack, the Sea to Summit of Evac Dry Sack. Um, this is the 35, 35 liter um, size, so it's actually quite large. The next smallest size they had was 20 liters, which would have worked, but would have been really tight. So now we have plenty of room for all of our smelly items, all of our Lysol wipes, all of our stuff that might cause any odor in the, in in the in our pack or in our in our sleeping bag or tent or whatever. So to so our plan is is to take this bag and we're gonna have it lined with an odor-proof bag on the inside and then all of our food and all of our smell odor things in there. If you roll it down. Oh no, it's all poofy. That's the beauty of the evac bag. There's an evac area on here where the air actually will leak out. So we'll roll it but down. But no air can get in. No bears can get in, you mean. Well, that too, but, well, they could at the moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, none will get in. Um, so then we'll roll it down. I think Peanut's confused as to how she's supposed to get down in this area right now. <laughs> she's like, I... I can't, I can't, there's, there's no where to, I want to leave this area, but I just can't. Okay. Okay. Back to Emily. Back to me. This is totally working. So then what we're going to do is going to take this contraption. This is actually going to be on the inside of the pack, this rope, and it's going to cinch up out of the pack and it's going to create a handle because I don't want to put the stress of the bear bag of the hang on here. So we'll put the stress of it onto this rope, which will be threaded up through on the inside. We've got one for each of us here. Um, we do have two of these packs, like I said, because we're each going to have our own bag, which is going to make the counterbalance method very easy, since we really are eating the same thing every day, and we'll have about the same amount of, of waste and trash. Um, so, from here, we're going to have that cinched around. In order to hang the actual bear bag, we've got about 100 um, feet of rope here, a couple different kinds. This is some rope my dad had, this is some stuff that he grabbed at REI and let it, is letting us use for the trip. And this is the kind of cool part, which 
this is not ultra light backpacking here, <laughs> but we're not ultra light and this is our first hike. So I'm going to let it pass. Um, this is a carabiner that locks into place and it's really cool because it, it can open and then you can lock it so then it doesn't, doesn't open at all. And on the bottom, it's got this pulley system here. So we can actually use this. This is a great weight instead of having to throw a can of tuna into a stuff sack and worrying about your stuff sack getting all scuffed up or throwing a rock in there to get your, your rope over the, over a branch. This is actually a great little weight for that. It's not that heavy. It's just a few ounces, but it, it, it's a nice, and then that can take some of the friction, um, off of the rope and off of the bag. So that's going to be a nice carabiner there. Um, a couple other things we have over here just as backup as well. We've got a couple ropes of kind of a utility cord. Um, we've got a hundred feet. We might not bring that much, but it'll be nice to, you know, extend the guide cord on our tent if we need it to. She's just totally not paying attention to me. <laughs> no, I'm listening to everything you're saying. I just haven't been videoing something else. Oh, okay. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got our utility cord. Yeah, not back to me. You're lying to me. And then last but not least, we've got some fun S beaters here. Um, little plastic ones just to be able to put some, they're rated at 10 pounds, but just to be able to have some stuff hanging off of our packs, whether drying socks or um, want to throw some pots back there to dry off or whatever. Who knows? So that is our bear bagging system. <laughs>